This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Jones versus Thomas. You all are living together. You've been together for seven years. And Mr. Jones, you brought this case because you want answers to three specific incidents that lead you to believe that Ms. Thomas is cheating. Yes, Your Honor. And you have these concerns because you all have history. Yes, we got, like, we took a test for my, I thought that was my child, but it turns out to be not my child. So that's, oh. that make her a liar, right? Am I wrong for calling her a liar? But if you forgave what, me, though. I, I forgave you because I love me, you. You forgave me, we moved on, so why bring it up still? I love you, yeah, so, but that's still in the back of my mind, like... Yeah, but you're not gonna hold this over my head for the rest of my life. Yeah, gonna move that's, why, that's why I'm here, you know, to find out. That's why I'm here. So you need to know, because you have this history, you have concerns, and you want to make sure that it's not going on now. Yes, yes, and you I got a feeling it's just... Something going on. But I'm here to right my wrongs, though, so why yeah. we gonna That's move That's why we're here, yeah. Ms. Thomas, you want answers to these questions as well. You want to show him. Yes, I want to prove to him that I'm not cheating. I want to move mm -hmm. on, be in a healthy relationship. Hopefully, later lead to marriage. I was gonna ask you, what signals have you picked up on that make you wonder what is going on here? Every time a phone rings, she go to the bathroom. She can't have no conversation right beside me. She can't. That's the second true. thing, she don't cook no more. I don't get no home-cooked meal, no That's chicken. That's not true, because you no don't appreciate fries, me no being, nothing, you don't appreciate no me no being more. your woman. When I, when I feel appreciated, then maybe I'll cook over the stove, some dressing, did, maybe I, some ham, but until then, no. Now, that takes care of the food. Let's wait a minute, hold on. Oh. I got a question. You got a question? Mr. Joe, do you cook? I, I mean, no. noodles, yeah. No, I, noodles? I That's her job. Nothing. I feel that's her job. No, I mean. no, wait. Oh. Hold on, Ms. Thomas. Ms. Thomas, I gotta address this. Yes, ma'am. What is this address? Only half of women everywhere. You... No, I don't want you to talk right now, Mr. Cutler. I want you to stand down. I understand why you're confused. No. I understand why you're confused. What he meant to say was... No, no. They had an arrangement. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. What happened was... <laughs> what he meant to say was they had an arrangement yeah, where they yeah, agreed yeah, that she yeah, would do yeah. the cooking. No, that's yeah, what he no, meant. No, no. That's what he meant. It's not like it's okay. her job because she the one. No, yeah. they had an arrangement <laughs> where she was doing the cooking. Cutler? What? <laughs> I'm gonna help him and you. <laughs> And so here's the deal. I don't need no help. You do need some help. <laughs> so what? You about to be down there with this? Uh, <laughs> cooking is whoever can get the jobs done. Or now, what you agree to. No. Yes. And, no. And, and my mama, and my mama said, so it must be true, <laughs> the sexiest thing in the world is a man in the kitchen. So you need yes, to get your agent yes, yes, figured out. Yes. Yeah. So you went from this whole thing of these are the signs of her cheating. What has moved you from their signs to actual cheating? Like, it's like one, one incident, Snapchat, you know? Okay. Snapchat, okay, we, um, she wanted to go out with her girls, you know? She said she had a girl night to go eat at a restaurant, you know, okay. I'm Who trying to her? trust you, we're trying to build that back up, you know? Okay, Clearly, I'm cool with it. Because cooking at home, so, so you gotta go out and do something. <laughs> right, so, so... I go to my fam one of my family members' house. Probably to get some food, because there's nothing at home yeah, to that, eat. That, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I, I get that. I expect the something back, you know, right. some a little, little piece of chicken or something, but... So what yeah. happened? So, okay. so, so she, she, I'm in my, I'm in my family member's house. He stroll, he's strolling through Snapchat. He's strolling, strolling through the stores, the stores. He get to her store, you know, they friends on Snapchat. He was like, you went out to, you went out to eat. When you go out to eat, you here. I'm like, huh? That I, this dude look like you. I'm like, I looked at it. I'm confused with myself. Like she's cheesing. Like uh, ain't no girls there. The place so, look empty. How you at a table with another man who looks like? Right. We Do you like table? Him? Hold on, I want to have a table with another man. We were at with coworkers from work, and my friend happened to bring her guy because she doesn't like him to stay at home. So he came I with know. us. Why He's you one of us. Me? All right, but car. you're saying you're looking at this picture, and it's just her and a man. Yeah. There are no other people. I know I ain't blind. If I want the cheat, 
we wouldn't be together. I try to right my wrongs from the DNA test, you know, but I'm not going to keep getting this, letting this, ho- he, he's not going to keep holding stuff All right, so I'm we have not. the first incident you have a question about. What's the second incident? Facebook. All right, tell me Facebook. about it. Facebook, so, okay, boom, Your Honor. We, <laughs> listen, we, we went out one night. This time we did go out, you know? All right, you were there. At, at a friend party he threw, he th- invited us out. So we went out, had a good time, no arguing, no nothing, like old time. So we get in the car to leave, you know, everything good, make it to the house around about two or three in the morning. Okay. You know, get in, she tired, you know, tired. So she went straight to sleep snoring. You know, so I know, in my head, I know she threw for the night. If I see an opportunity, I see my opportunity. I seen her phone, I seen her thumb, but no. Can I show? Can I show y'all? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Step to the monitor. Okay. I grabbed. A, I grabbed a thumb. I placed the thumb right here. But why are you Bam. grabbing the phone? So it opens the phone. That's what you it's get. Like, it opened the phone. So I stroll. I clicked on the message. Bam. What do I see? A guy clicked on it. Bam. Look what. I, look. A penis pic. I know it ain't mine, because I'm much bigger. To be honest, I'm but much bigger than that. But you already what happened with the penis pick okay. anyway. OK, wait a minute. But wait a minute. Know. Hold on, hold on. Hold, hold, hold on, Miss Thomas. Hold on, Miss Thomas. You what know, time you, of morning is this? This is like 2 or 3 in the morning. 2 All or right. 3, 4 in the morning. Step okay. back to your podium, please. Yeah, it's like... So, why do you have a conversation that ends with a pic of a man's penis? Well, Your Honor, it happened days before the picture was even sent. It was a viral video picture thing going around our hometown of a guy and a girl being exposed. So, I asked people to send it to me. Everybody would send it. Boom, the guy sends the picture. So, you're saying, let me make sure I got this right, Ms. Thomas, that there was a scandal in your hometown. Right. Scandal. Just pictures going around. Well, she said it was a thing. Right. It was a viral thing going around. <laughs> okay. Up the man. I in mean, my world, one. in my old world, they say viral. In my old world, we say scandal. But okay, okay. viral. Let's say viral. Mm-hmm. The question I have is, the gentleman who sent you this picture, have you been with him in an intimate way? No, not at all. I just he... know him from social media. I was just curious to want to see the video. And so he's not your side piece. No, not at all. We have no dealings on none of that. I just happened to ask them, can I say, get the pictures in the videos, and boom, there it goes. You just want to see the piece. <laughs> right. All right, all right. I want to see the piece. I said that. All right. <laughs> There's a third incident. Yeah, she kicked me out. Okay, she kicked me out. So, but we still talking and intimate, having sex. When it got to the end of month, she wanted me to come back. Okay. So, I know I love her. I'm coming back home. So I get there with my bags. Okay. Came out the bathroom, went to put my stuff up in the closet. I found basketball shorts. Which were mine? These, these Which don't look mine? like. These cannot. These I don't. When Which you start who, When you start Which shooting ball. Mine? When you start shooting. I shoot, can fit them. They fit me to the. When you start yard. shooting ball, they don't they fit, fit me. They fit me. You're scrawny and little. Okay. I mean, so, so you shoot ball now. So, Mr. Hold on, hold on, hold on, Miss Thomas. Okay, hold those up, Mr. Jones. My okay, side. Hope, she ain't never worried basketball choice. Never. Woman, my side. Never. Mr. Jones, before you moved out, did she ever wear basketball no. shorts? No. No. You never seen those Nothing. shorts before? I ain't seen her shoot a basketball. Okay. With basketball shorts on. Or even wear the shorts. Maybe she wears them around the house. No. Uh, yes. No. You don't even wear short girl shorts. She don't yes. wear none of that. He so she ain't a shorts type person. I know her. We... Do you think you she kicked you out for that month so yeah, she can have somebody yeah. else That's what I really think. No. That's what I, I really think. I kicked him out because I want to be appreci- appreciated. I want him to stop holding this over my head, what I've done in the past. What more do you want? My legs, you know, my heart, my wig you. off my head. I mean, what more can I give you? I mean, I don't have nothing yeah. else to give you but to let you know that I love you and I... I... All right, Mr. Cutler. I think we know why he thinks that Miss Thomas is back to her old cheating ways. Yeah. And you know, he has said... If that's true, you're done. I'm done. You're going to put your own I'm self done. out. I'm, I'm, back, I'm back gone. Because of all these suspicions, this court has done a full and a complete investigation. At this time, the court will call cybersecurity expert Gus Dimitrellis to determine, is she cheating? <laughs> Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? 
I'm a certified cyber expert and retired Secret Service agent serving under two presidential administrations in the area of technical security and electronic crimes. Ms. Thomas, you okay? You look a little nervous. I'm, I'm perfectly fine. Sweating. I'm okay. Sweating. I, I heard that big sigh. I was like... I'm okay. I'm just breathing, sir. Okay. All right. You would think the sun in here. She's sweating. Yeah. <laughs> so, tell us what you did to investigate this case. I conducted a complete forensic examination on Ms. Thomas's phone to uncover pictures, videos, social media, internet history, even if it's deleted. Okay. Mm -hmm. Specifically, I was asked to find any evidence by this court of cheating. All right. Did you find anything suspicious? I did. Uh, the court summoned Ms. Thomas to provide her cloud access information, her username and password, which she did. Both were fake. So what she provided was fake? Yes, Your Honor, I have a copy right here. Wow, she can't even own up to her last. Wow. So you it's used old. a username and the password that she gave you and they both came up as invalid? That is correct, Your Honor. It's over. Ms. Thomas, why did you give him a fake username and a fake password? I gave him what I had. I mean, I don't have, I have only one email. Really? Yes, ma'am. See? She came This came up as invalid, truth. which means it wasn't the one you used to get into the phone. So, what are you hiding? I have nothing to hide, sir. Obviously. Nothing at all. Come on. Were you ever yeah. able to get into her cloud? Your Honor, when you resummoned her to provide her correct cloud credentials, username and password, she did. Okay. And in doing so, I recovered 1,300 photos. <laughs> Wow. Ooh. Of which one was Ooh. a selfie of a man who is not Mr. Jones. This was sent to Ms. Thomas's phone. That's correct, Your Honor. Okay. Ron, would you show this to uh, Ms. Thomas, please? Wow. <laughs> Ms. Thomas, who is that person? Oh, that's a friend from Facebook. But we had not we had no dealings. Well, you well, had some dealings, dealings because yeah. he sent you a, a selfie picture. I actually did ask for a bitch. He sent the picture. That's crazy. It... All right, thank you, Mr. Dimitrellis. Thank you, Your Honor. To further investigate this case, this court also ordered that a polygraph examination be conducted on Ms. Thomas, and we have those results. Ron, at this time, would you bring out certified polygraph examiner Michael Williams? Yes, Sean. Michael Williams. Mr. Jones, I do have to ask you, because, I mean, everything kind of hinges on this. If you find out she's cheating, what will happen? I don't want to go through that again. I already been through something with her. I'm already still hurt about that, but I, you know, I'm not finna, I ain't finna stay. Ain't no way. I don't care. So, Let's get to those results, then. Are you ready for the results? Yeah, I'm ready. I want to know. You want to right. know? I want to okay. know. All right. Mr. Williams, how are you today? Doing great. How are you, Your Honor? It's good to see you. Thank you. Good to see you, too. Would you state your credentials, please, for the court? I'm currently a certified polygraph examiner from the state of Georgia and a private detective. And you conducted a polygraph examination on Ms. Thomas. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. You asked Ms. Thomas... Have you had sexual intercourse with a man Mr. Jones saw you at the restaurant with on your Snapchat story? What was her response to that question? She said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined she was being truthful. Exactly. 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 All right. <laughs> It kind of made me smile. <laughs> yeah, I was. I saw you. <laughs> but we have one more question. Yeah. You asked Miss Thomas since you kicked Mr. Jones out of the house, have you had sexual intercourse with another man? What was her response? Your Honor, she said no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined on this particular question, she was being truthful. Exactly. Yay! Exactly.
All right, Mr. Jones. What does that smile represent? I mean, at least you're honest about she. At least I know the truth now, the things I've been wanting to know, you know. And I love her, you know. And now she's being truthful, and I know the truth. I feel we can work out, work things out, as long as we being truthful, not have to do all this, you know. Go home and fix that man some dinner. Yes, yeah. he's hungry. <laughs> now get a he's hug. Hungry. Absolutely. I'm sorry. You all have been in a long-term relationship for 10 years, on and off. Yes, Your Honor. And y'all met at the bus stop, so it's really been on and off, correct? Yes, Your yes. Honor. <laughs> so yes. tell me, why have you brought Mr. Haskell here to this court? Absolutely, Your Honor. I bore him here today. I mean, we've been together for 10 years. I just want to know at this point right now, is he still dealing with his daughter's mom? And is it like other people in our city since he got a little fame recently? Ah. And I want to hear what you're here for. I'm here to prove to Ms. Jones that I'm here for love and that it's not what she believes in her mind. You claim you're being faithful. Yes, I am being faithful. I love her. And it's unconditional. And you think she's being paranoid? Very. It's like, I can understand her paranoia because I am becoming famous. And it's like the groupies. <clears throat> but Fam it's like... F famous like what? I'm an R&B singer. Okay. So, you know, it's like... So you blowing up? Yes, ma'am. Your Honor, I would love to see him out here doing what he does best. But at the same time, it's not paranoia. I feel like he know. He know he's been doing it. So what's on the line here? Everything. Everything. My sanity, my family. We have two kids together. So your family, your relationship is on the line depending on what happens here today. It really depends on these results. I need them because I know that I might have to walk away. Mr. Haskell, do you want her to walk away? I don't. And that's why I'm here to basically clear the air. We've been together for 10 years. So it's not been a strong 10 years perfect. You're not required to be perfect right. because right. we've been together 35 years total. Okay. And we haven't been perfect, okay. but we've been faithful. Mm. You don't expect me to be perfect, do you? <laughs> no, I don't expect you to be perfect. <laughs> All right, but You're I am perfect. Me. Oh, I'm perfect. perfect for me. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. So You're perfect for me. But, but you have to be in the game. And, and once she loses that faith in you, all that other stuff don't even matter. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. You all met on a bus stop. Yes. Tell me about those days when it was fresh and new and lovely. When well, we met at the bus stop, I was there as coat, and he offered me his coat, which I thought was cute, because I'm like, you know, I'm a big girl. I can't fit that coat. But he gave it to me anyway. So we got on the bus together, we talked, and, like, we exchanged numbers. So when I gave him my number, he didn't have a phone, he didn't have a pen. Like, he remembered my number. And it took oh. me about an hour and a half to get home from where, you know, his drop-off point was. And as soon as I got in the house, he called... And it just felt really good. Like, those are the good days, like, stuff like that. That wasn't a player move, was it, where you gave her your coat so she'd have to see you again? Was, was that it? Uh, it was just to get on the bus, because I knew the bus was going to be another 45 minute wait. So uh, I refused to let her stand the coat around her. Yeah, because, see, I've done that. You, okay. know, you know, you visit someone, you leave, you leave something with her, so you have to right. come back and, yeah. I've, right. So I, 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 I know that player move. I just want to make sure. Okay, I don't remember that player move. Who was that player move with? See how well it worked? Uh, See whatever, how well it worked? Man. Right. Okay. All right, so after y'all decided we gonna be us, what did mm -hmm. that look like? It was fun. Okay. It was constant. Like, we always saw each other. We talked every day, all day. And he enjoyed how loud I was and how much attention I get, because I don't seek it. I just get it. <laughs> and he just was, he just always made me smile. He always made me feel special. I always felt important to him, so. So, I mean, it was good, but something happened because you're here today. So tell me about that. Well, it was rough for me, because I ain't gonna lie. I knew that with me coming into a relationship with studio hours and inconvenient time frames, it's gonna be a whole lot. Do you believe that? I want to give him a chance, but a cheater is a cheater. <laughs> and it doesn't matter how much love you have in your office, I'm like, if it's not stopping you from doing something that hurt me. Mr. Haskell, you know, you sound like a smooth talker, and I, and I get that, Definitely but... Definitely that, if, Your Honor. If, if you were... That. <laughs> yes. And, and, and I understand that, but, you know, if you were that you smooth... You understand that. I understand <laughs> that. Whatever, man. There you go. That's yeah. right, that's right. But if you were that smooth of a talker, you wouldn't be here. Absolutely. So, so Ms. Jones... 
What went wrong in this relationship? Well, after a while, it just got to a point where it wasn't making sense that he was keeping them out with six, seven days a week. And it was like, I just started getting really suspicious. I would tell her, look, babe, I'm on my way home, right? But guess what? In the process, I'm not driving. So the person that's driving, they want to stop and drop X, Y, and Z off. So you didn't have your own transportation? Right. No. Okay. I called his mom's phone one day <laughs> because at the time he was using his mom's house phone as our means of communication. And I called her phone one day. A woman answered the phone. No, it was not his mom. This young lady oh. is telling me, while I'm explaining to her that I'm the mother of his child, she's like, no, I'm his girlfriend. Oh. Yes. What is your explanation for that? It was my mother friend. Is your mother's friend. Attracted to me. Attracted to you. <laughs> right? Because right. you got it like she that. She see my potential. Uh -huh. So she figuring, OK, yeah, let me tell this girl that's calling for you that I'm his girlfriend that for hopefully for her to fall back so she could take her place. Your Honor, in the midst of this conversation that we were having when she was telling me that she was his girlfriend, right. I was having her call other women that she was informing me was calling the phone on other occasions. They were saying, yeah, you know, we're more than friends and all this stuff. It was just a mess. How many women were we talking How about? Three. Three Not different including women. the young woman that answered the phone. So a total of four. Four women. Did you ever find out if there was something going on with woman oh, number one? Oh, definitely found out stuff was going on with woman number one. As a matter of Tell fact... Tell me about that. They have a child together now. Yes. OK, so this child's been born during your 10-year relationship? Yes, ma'am. And it's his baby? It's his baby. All righty. I didn't want to admit it because I was like, you know... No, I don't know. No, we, we really you don't. You said you didn't want to admit it because... I was weak to the... You were to weak the, to the flesh. Yeah, I was weak to the flesh. And uh -huh. I fell victim, and we had unprotected sex, and one thing led to another. But that was the only occasion that I actually engaged in. You only like, had sex with her one time. Yeah, with that one with one, woman one number one. Fortunately, she got she had a beautiful my beautiful daughter. So you know. So what's going on with you and your ex? I had a night with her, you know, and then our daughter came. So it's like I have to be a father to my child, but. A relationship with you, we don't have okay, to have. But, Mr. Haskell, look, you're a singer, not a dancer. Right. You're dancing around this issue big time. Okay. Yes, you know. Your Honor. Get him. I sung into the wrong song that night. Uh, uh, <laughs> apparently. Yes, I did. And I was, I was being the bad guy. So, Ms. Jones, I see you brought a witness with you. She can come yeah. forward. Thank you. Would you give the court your name, please? Ayana Allen. I'm Miss. Jones's best friend. Okay. What do you know about this situation? This particular situation, you know, my birthday was in February. Okay. Um, I went to the mall, of course, to give me some outfits, you know, jazz up for my birthday. And I go to the um, little food court in the mall and I see Mr. Haskell and this lady and this child. They were together like they were a couple. No. Okay. I mean, what what does that look family. like? I was just, yeah, that was my What does pleasure. that look like? That looks like this. Holding hands? Yes, but that's she not dying, her girlfriend. Huh? Were you holding her hand? Truth be told, I had... Yeah, we, we want the truth uh, be told. All right. I was watching my daughter at my mom's house. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't want all this, this pre-stuff. I want to know, were you sitting in the food court holding, holding hands... With your baby's mama. No, right. ma'am. Did your hands touch? Probably from my daughter to her, as it's connecting oh. her, getting my daughter's hand. So in the process of maybe touching your daughter, your hand may have accidentally touched your baby's mama hand at the very instant... From her vision. Miss Allen saw you. From her vision. From her vision. Miss Allen. double-double vision. I don't miss nothing. <laughs> All right. I was at work one day, and then I went through my phone, and I had a message on Messenger. She wasn't my friend, so I had to accept it. So when I opened it, she sent me a picture of my one-and-a-half-month-old son and his father laying in her bed. Oh. I have something, if I could show this to you. Ron, Ron would you grab that, please? Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, I can't wait to see this. Truth be told. <laughs> please. <laughs> This is the text messaging between the other woman and myself. This is a picture at the bottom of my son and his father laying in her bed with the caption, add this to the collection. Like the collection you have on Facebook? 
I guess. Oh, that's right. bold. I guess. All right, Mr. Haskell, this isn't paranoia. This is photographic evidence. Yes, this is my first time because I had, I was forced to have my son this particular day. Did okay. you have a relationship with the woman's bed you're laying in right there no, on Your that Honor. picture? No, Your Honor. Because I'm a performing artist, she figured, listen, he's one of the best, so let's accommodate him. He had the, I had my son with me. So, so I, she just let I you lie in her bed. bed. Yes, that's it. Late night hours. M Mr. Haskell. I, you you yeah, don't I, even have words for this. <laughs> and let me just tell you, it takes a lot to shut this down, to just get it where it can't, uh, it can't make a sentence, it can't pull a word out of the hat. I don't know what to make of this guy. I mean, I, this is just a series of misunderstandings. That's it. He is the unluckiest guy in you know, the world. Witnesses, <laughs> you know, when witnesses see you holding hands with someone else, it's really not that, it's something else. And let me just say this, it looks bad. Yeah, it does. It smells bad. It, it, but it's not. But it is bad. Yeah. It, it is bad. Yeah. You just roll that around in your head. Now, you yeah. have a countersuit for some damaged goods, is that correct? Yes. Tell me about that. <clears throat> well, she went to work early that day, but she knew that I had studio hours, like, wasn't even no long studio. It was only a 45 minute session. I needed to lay down some quick tracks or whatever. So she came home for work. But when she came home from work, she had a different attitude about approaching me leaving the house. And as I'm getting dressed, I'm feeling I look up. She like, where you about to go? I said, baby, you know I got 45 minutes to drop this little track and I'll be right back, you know? My phone get the ring and my ride outside. So she stopped me from going out the front door. So I immediately go through the, uh, the living room to go through the back door. She chased me, stopped me from going out the back door. So I'm juggling back and forth from the front to the back door and finally I made it out the front door, right? Jumped in my ride, boom. So I'm on my way, drop down the studio, go to the studio, lay down my tracks, come home. I'm a, I, I had some gym clothes I had to wash. I was gonna play basketball later that week. So boom, I go dig in my bag. And next thing you know, my clothes are bleached, like. All right, hold on. Did you bleach your stuff? Yes, Your Honor. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not mad at you. Let, let me just... <laughs> Miss, Mr. Haskell, if that's all she done to you in light of everything, <laughs> you kind of got off cheap, brother man. I'm just saying. Okay, tell me about that. Why did you bleach his clothes? I feel like he bleached his own clothes. Like, all his fame and all his desire to get out here and be in the spotlight. He didn't want to be there for me when I needed him to. So I figured you don't need no clothes, you don't need nothing, you need what you have on at the studio, and you'll be good in life. All right, and Mr. Haskell, you said in your court papers that the value of the clothes that she bleached was $200. Yes. Is that correct? Yes. Okay, Mr. Haskell, we will rule on the countersuit in a moment. But first, we need to get to the love suit. Ms. Jones, you said you believe he has been cheating in this last year. Mr. Haskell, you said you have not been cheating in this last year. No, I haven't. I know I haven't been cheating. Okay. In order to get to the bottom of this, the court has engaged the services of licensed private investigator Todd Redding. Uh, Ron, would you please escort Mr. Redding into the courtroom? Yes, sir. Mr. Redding, how are you? Fine, Your Honor. In this case, you had a polygraph examination performed on Mr. Haskell. Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. Mr. Haskell was asked, has he had sexual intercourse with his ex-girlfriend since July 2016? Is that correct? That's correct, Your Honor. And what was his response? Your Honor, his response was no. What did the lie detector show? What did the lie detector show? There was a significant response to the question which indicates deception. It was cold when they gave me that test. And I told them. Wait, you, it was cold when they gave you yeah, the lie detector test? Yeah, it was cold in that time. It was cold. Somehow. Darling, how are you feeling? How I knew I would feel. Is it your worst fears being confirmed? It is. Mr. Haskell? It looks bad, but... It is bad. It doesn't look bad. It is bad. This doesn't look... I mean, we moved from paranoia all the way over to yeah. deceptive results from the lie detector test. Can you admit to her that you have not done what you've been telling her based on this? I mean, this is your chance to, to tell the truth. The truth is, 
I did do it. Hallelujah. I, yeah. okay. Okay. Just tell the story. Tell the story. I did do it. I apologize, sweetheart. From here on out, I promise to dedicate our okay. time. You know what? Apologies are easy. They're a dime a dozen. The hard part is saying, I am committed to you in this relationship and then doing it. Can you do that? That's what she needs to do. <laughs> Ms. Jones, what do you plan to do? I don't know. I need some time because I can't give you an answer right now. I'm really hurt, but I know how I feel about him and I know what our family and my relationship with him means, so... I just need a little bit of time. Okay. So, we still have to rule on the countersuit. You admitted here in court that you poured bleach on his clothes. Yes, Your Honor. And you said the value of it was approximately $200. You're not disputing that either, are you? No, Your Honor. It breaks my heart to make the ruling I'm gonna have to make. But you cannot destroy other folks' property, even in anger. Our ruling is for the defendant for $200. If she takes you back, you cannot continue to hurt her. You've been together two years, you're living together, and you're engaged. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Miss Melvin, tell me how you met Mr. Reed. Well, we knew each other in grade school. He had a crush on me, and I didn't know. Oh, my. But 17 years later, we had met at the store. And how long ago was that? I mean, from today. I'll say two years ago. Okay, so two years ago... Yes, ma'am. You reconnected after knowing each other in grade school... Yes, and you found out when you saw him that he had had a crush on you all that time. The whole time, I never knew. <laughs> Look at you, Mr. Reed. <laughs> so, what did you do? What made you step up to her at this point and tell her, I, I got a thing for you? Well, I seen her at the store and everything. I was getting gas. Uh huh. I walked towards the store. I glanced. I looked. I said, That's a barbershop. We started smiling at one another. Uh huh. So, I went to the store, paid for the gas. Came back out. She said, Can I get $5? I said, She said, It's my birthday. I'm like, hey, here you go. I was lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Now, I've heard a lot of lines in my day. Yeah. Not that I've used them, but uh, I've heard them. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Give me $5. That's my, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. And that works? It worked. I guess it did work. Okay. So, you made this little love connection. What was the next step? How did y'all move from there? Basically, I waited, waited to call him to come over. Okay. But it, it was not going down like that. You ain't gonna get none of my cookies. Okay, uh, so you see how she did? It was a, it was like the carrot and then no carrot, <laughs> <laughs> carrot, no carrot. <laughs> and so he gave the carrot and then didn't get the carrot. Yeah. That's part of his yeah. Okay, yeah, so yeah, you, whatever works. So, <laughs> so this sounds lovely. You reconnect. You're taking your time to move forward. Why do you believe he's cheating? What has got you here in this courtroom today? Okay, um, me him was let, me, me him was in bed. He called me, called me another another name, another girl name. On top of that, you are in bed together, and he calls out another woman's another name. Another name, right? So, so, so what know, happened? He tried to play sleep. Like I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. So okay. when you said this other woman's name, he said he didn't know what you were talking about. Yeah. Player 101, mm -hmm. you don't call out another woman's name. Player 101? <laughs> Thank you. You know, <laughs> look, I've been out the game a long time. That rule has not changed <laughs> from way back in the day before I met Miss Cutler. That, that, that rule has you not changed. You were player one time. <laughs> this is news to me. I'm like, you were player? When you say player, Look, I'm just talking about the game, how the game... Don't hate the play, I hate the game. No, I, you said you've been out the game a long time. When were you playing? Before I met you. <laughs> you gotta keep up. Before I met you. But I don't ever remember you saying you were playing. You always said you were, you know, Steady Eddie. I was Steady Eddie enough to know not to call out another woman's name <laughs> in the presence of another woman. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Fair enough, fair yeah. enough. So this other woman's name you called out, is this an ex-girlfriend? Okay. No. Someone uh, you have had a relationship with? No. So you believe that he called out her name because that's a woman he's involved with? That's somebody he, that, that he want to be with calling her name. Do you that's think he's I been think. with her already? I don't know. But, but you I think wanna... it's a possibility? It's a possibility. Do you have any other evidence that Mr. Reed is cheating? Okay, like on Fridays, the girls will call him on Fridays. Every Friday now. 
They, they wouldn't call none during the week, but except on Fridays when he got paid. And he wasn't bringing all the money home that he got paid from. So I'm like, where's the money going? What women are calling you on Friday for money? They're calling for money on Friday. I give them to her. I got Con Hart. I gave her five dollars. That been Con Hart. But she asked so for you just birthday. give it. People call you up and you just give them your money? Yeah, as long as they pay me back. They ain't pay him back, man. But they ain't pay me back. Though. They are no. now. I learned my lesson. Miss Miss Melvin, Miss <laughs> Melvin, are these these are women that are calling him? Women, yes, yeah, sir. And I feel like if you got a girlfriend, why are you gonna get them money? They need to go get a job or get a man with some money. But don't get it from mine, you know? You can't yeah. do that. These women are women that you know. Yes, ma'am. Are these women you've been intimate with? No, ma'am. Just friends. Friends. Mm. And they call you Nothing more, nothing less. Friends. And how are you giving them five dollars, ten dollars, a hundred dollars? That's a little more than that. But I'm the type of person, I don't say no to nobody. She asked for something, I don't say no. I'll give it to her. And okay, I, but and I think that's Miss Melvin's concern. You, you give them eleven in addition to the money? No, I'll give them money. Mm. <laughs> That's hard. That's hard to believe now because ain't you're no man gonna get... give no woman no money for free. I was gonna say you're not getting anything in return. No, no, ma'am. Just a smile. Just a smile. Keep yeah. on going. <laughs> and the way you look at you, don't it. believe none of it. None, none, of, none it. of it. You believe that he's not only giving away money, he's getting he, something he, back. For he, that. Yeah, he's swinging something else to him too. <laughs> so my question is, have you ever caught Mr. Reed with another woman? To, um, I was in the bathroom. He was, he was, he was on, on FaceTime with another woman. Okay. Tell me what happened. Okay, I got home from work. He, he, well, he wasn't expecting me to come home early. So I got off early, so I surprised him. So he in the bathroom. I'm like, okay. I, 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 well, first when I went to, went to the bathroom door, I heard him talking. So I was like, who, who are you talking to? And, and the bathroom door was locked. I bam on the door, bam on the door like three times, and he didn't answer. So I, so I went to the door, and I just... Kicked it in, honey. That, I'm the ball for it. Kicked it in. The door fell on the hinges. He jumped in the bathtub. I said, what you jumping for? What you jumping for? It's no need for you to jump in the bathtub and you ain't doing nothing wrong. Okay, you literally <laughs> kicked in the door? Yes, ma'am. I got pictures if you want to see. Yeah. Yeah, I want to see that. <laughs> Ron, would, you, <laughs> would you please hand us that? So I have, you, you, went, you don't really look big enough to kick in a door. Whenever somebody <laughs> make you mad, you stronger than what you is. She took this thing off the hinges. <laughs> <laughs> so you heard another woman in the bathroom with your man. Mm -hmm. and You're like, what's going on? And you just kicked she the door down. Him, your girlfriend home. Your girlfriend home. So you're standing outside the door. Yeah. He's in the bathroom. You hear him Knock talking to another woman. Mm -hmm. And you hear the woman say, Is your girlfriend home? So I'm uh, like, OK, open the door, Raymond. Who, who's on the phone? Open the door. He didn't want to open it, so I had to do what I had to do. <laughs> and so he jumps, and you're like, what you jumping for? What you jumping for if you ain't got nothing to hide? Who was on the phone? Oh, yeah. That, the, the, well, the, and that's my question, Mr. He, Reed. Who was on the phone? As a friend. Okay, why you gotta be it locked was, up was, in the bathroom was, talking to your friend? With a dollar. lock. You gotta take my phone in the bathroom because it's an emergency. Just in case she call, uh, I might be in the bathroom listening to my music. Okay, but... But uh, she got home early that day. I didn't expect that. You're in the house by yourself, mm -hmm. right? What? Who are you locking out of the bathroom? I'm in the house by myself. I don't trust nobody. They might come in and over. <laughs> okay. Who was the woman that you were talking about? You said she was a friend. A friend. Is this someone you've ever been intimate with? No, 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 no. But, but did you hear her knocking on the door? You heard me knocking? Yeah, but at the same time, I was talking to her. But when she kicked in the door, I jumped in the shower. I, I thought it was a hurricane. Also, an uh, earthquake. <laughs> then I say, uh, <laughs> I looked up. I thought she was dragging in the bathroom. I was like, okay, Hurricane Barbara. Okay, so you kick in the door. Yes, what does that conversation look like with him? He told me, well, he jumped in the tub to someone. I said, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I said, who was that on the phone? He said, nobody, nobody, a friend. I said, it had to be more than a friend. More than a friend than you going in the bathroom, talking on the phone, locking the door. And you heard me knocking, why didn't you open? So I guess you, I guess you like her more than you like me. So your belief is... That's how I felt about it. So that's why I got real angry. And you know, that, that, that door had to come down between us. I need it to get <laughs> So your belief is he was talking to a girlfriend? The same one, he, the same name he calls, what I think. Oh, oh so you think it's the, the yeah, person whose name he yelled out? Mm hmm If you find out that he is, in fact, cheating, what happens between the two of you? We're not, well, for one, we're not getting married, and he got to find somewhere else to go, because I don't need, I don't need no, no cheating man with me. And I'm faithful. I don't need that. 
Well, to get to the bottom of this, this court has done a full investigation, starting with a data analysis of Mr. Reed's phone. And we have those results. Ron, would you please escort into the courtroom our cybersecurity expert, Mr. Gregory Evans? Yes, Sean. Hey, Mr. Evans, how are you? I'm good, Your Honor, and yourself? I'm good. good. Glad to see you. It's good Thanks. to see you. All right, let's dive right into this. Okay. Uh, what did you do in this case? In this particular case, I had to do a full-fledged investigation. I pulled everything from the defendant's cell phone except for his fingerprints. Wow. What I don't understand is, is why people think they can fake me out by deleting information so, or hiding their SIM cards, mm -hmm. such as. In this particular case, one thing I retrieved from the defendant's cell phone, and you're not gonna believe this, First thing I looked at was his web browsing history. Okay. When I looked at his web browsing history four days before the courts requested his cell phone, he was Googling, get this now, on his cell phone, how to delete information off the phone. So what he didn't realize is that you have the capability to go back and find everything he's deleted. Everything he's deleted on this phone. Uh, so what were you trying to hide, Mr. Reed? Ain't nothing. I want to find out. All right, so, Mr. Evans, what did you uncover? Because I know you found something. I believe, Your Honor, that Mr. Reed tried to undermine this court, tried to bamboozle me by deleting the information, thinking he was going to get away with it. Mm. And most people he may have, but, you know, I'm a different type of computer geek, right? So, <laughs> the first thing I realized in his phone, I found two deleted apps that he had on his phone. One of those deleted apps was a popular dating app that he signed up for four months ago at 11.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is the app, and this is showing his registration to this dating app. And he signed up for that four months ago? Yes, ma'am. You all yes, were a couple four months yes, ago. Yes, ma'am. So you're yeah. trying to figure out why would he need to be on a date now? Because I seen it on her phone. Can I ask So that you was your reason? Because you uh, saw it on I her, saw phone. her phone. And I went on her page, she got single on hers. Really? That's what you got. Mr. Evans, did you find anything else? Oh, yeah, sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it appears that the defendant signed up for another site called Ebony Flirt. Now, this is a new one to me. Now, when you go to the website, it says, naughty black singles mm. near you tonight. Oh. I also found a private message of women sending him explicit pictures of their private parts just a week ago. Oh, my One God! One even came in while I was investigating his phone. Now, as you what, see here... Wait, while you had the phone in your possession? While I had the phone, it was a pop-up in the thing, and I boom, and I was like, whoa, what is this? Right? <laughs> why in the world have you signed up for that? No, I'm saying that's old. He said that was a week ago. That was a week. See, he said while he had the uh, phone, they were trying to get in touch with you. Through my email. I was trying to... You... And what? this is one of, the, de but one of the deleted apps, right? So he's been trying to hide by not using apps going through his web browsers as well, okay? Because most people, when you look in somebody's phone and she picked up the phone, she's looking for the apps or just looking at his sex messages. This was in his browser. Miss Melvin, <laughs> what... What is going through your mind right now? I, I, I don't feel like he loved me. I don't, I don't feel like I'm welcomed by him. Tell him... <laughs> What is spawning those tears? Because I feel like you planned me. You were on this a week ago, and then the, the POF, I mean, you could have came to me as a man and talked to me. You know that been on my phone. No, I did. You, you go through my emails, you see. I don't you know go through your that. emails. Then why you got yeah, on your, your phone, phone locked. Then? How can I go through your emails and your then phone is locked? why you got on your phone then? You see how this is hurt, Ms. Melvin. Mm hmm Are you cheating with these women? I never seen any women. I never met them a day in my life. Have you physically cheated with anybody? No, sir. To further investigate this, to find out if this goes beyond just flirting, the court ordered Mr. Reed to undergo a polygraph examination, and we have those results. Ron, would you please escort Mr. Michael Williams into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. How are you, Mr. Williams? Good afternoon. How are you doing, Judge? Good. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Mr. Williams, you are a certified polygraph examiner, is that correct? That's a fact. And Mr. Reed was ordered to undergo a polygraph examination. Yes, Your Honor. You asked Mr. Reed, 
Were you involved in a sexual relationship with a woman you were FaceTiming with when Ms. Melvin kicked in the bathroom door? What was his response to that question? His response was no. What did the lie detector determine? Coming up. What did the lie detector determine? There was no significant physiological response on this question, indicating that Mr. Reed was being truthful. All right, I saw you fan yourself like, oh, oh. Almost like a, a deep sign of breath. relief. All right. You also asked Mr. Reed, since the start of your relationship, have you had sexual intercourse with any woman other than Miss Melvin? What was his response? Your Honor, his response was no. What did the lie detector determine? Well, Your Honor, on this question, Mr. Reed was being truthful. I am so happy that it was not a duck, because it was quacking, walking <laughs> like a duck. So, Ms. Melvin, tell him what you're thinking right now. It made me love you even more now. Now we can get married when we get back. I know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Reed, you see how the evidence mounted up. In order for this relationship to go forward, you have got to let her trust you. And in order for her to trust you, you've got to stop doing things to make her distrust you. If you spent as much time focusing on her as you did on these other apps, your relationship would be fine. That's what you need to focus on from here on out. Miss Melvin? Yes, ma'am. Put this behind you. I Trusting. Am. So you all can go forward. Yes, ma'am, I am. 